What is up, YouTube? It is your boy JP back again with another BB banger on the channel. We still gonna do the BB Simon belt giveaway. I, I gotta do it, bro. I have to do it. I didn't. Y'all thought I forgot about y'all? Nah, bro. I'm doing this giveaway for all the supporters. I appreciate y'all for watching the content. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over five things that you should not do while wearing or while not wearing your BB Simon belt. These five things are a violation of the BB Simon code of conduct. So you will get fined if you are caught doing any of these five things. Number one, and I did put these in order. So. The first thing you should not do while wearing your BB Simon belt is match your BB Simon belt with your whole outfit. Do not match your clothing with your BB Simon belt. Do not match your shirt, your pants, your shoes. Do not wear a whole matching fit with your BB Simon belt. If you wear your BB Simon belt with everything else matching the BB Simon belt, it'll just blend in with the pieces of clothing that you are wearing. What you really want your BB Simon to do is to stand out from what you are wearing so that it'll bring more attention to it. If it just matches with everything, then that's gonna take the attention off of the belt. And that's not what you really want the BB Simon belt to do. You want the attention to be on your clothing, but not just your clothing, but your accessories too. And that's how you make your accessories actually stand out. It's pretty simple. You don't match the color of your accessories with the color that you're wearing. If I'm wearing white, then I will go ahead and offset that with gold, which is a darker tone accessory. And then if I'm wearing black, like I have one now, then I'll go ahead and wear something lighter as an accessory, like a white gold, sterling silver, stuff like that. You have to be able to put your outfits together with the BB Simon belt and make sure the BB Simon belt stands out. Right now, I have on this all black outfit. I'm gonna show y'all the fit real quick, not the full fit but just a little something something. I got the black babe shirt on with black jeans, but I also have on the BB Simon belt. And my BB Simon belt is silver and iridescent crystals. Light and dark, light and dark, dark and light. You have to be able to mix those things up to make it look as good as possible. The second thing that you should not do while wearing your BB Simon belt is do not where it's almost like the first thing, but it's a little bit different. Do not wear all designer with your BB Simon belt. It's so tacky when people do this. This isn't even only for BB Simon belts. This is just a, a general rule when it comes to dressing and when, when it comes to fashion. Do not wear all designer. Do not be designer down, Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, everything in the book down with the BB Simon belt. You will get fined to the highest extent if you are caught violating this BB Simon law. You will definitely get fined to the highest extent. People just think since they got on designer that they're just OD fresh and that's really not the case. The third thing is do not sag your BB belt while you're wearing it. Some instances you can do it just because pants fit a certain way depending on how your, sh how your body is shaped. With me, I'm not too skinny, but I'm on the skinnier side, the skinnier muscular cut side rather than bulky. I'm more so a skinnier person, as y'all can see. I mean, I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of some some right there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still pretty skinny. How my jeans fit and how my pants fit, they're kind of weird. Where I have to like pull them down. I know it's gonna sound weird, but I have to like pull them down just so they'll fit correctly and look right when I'm wearing them. Word of advice, don't sag your BB Simon belt. And I just say this because a lot of people sag too low and I don't know why they do this, but when you are doing this while wearing a BB Simon belt, it actually stretches the holes. Wait, that's the, that's the best way I could put it. It stretches the belt's holes out to the point where if you continuously do that, your belt's prong will no longer go into the hole and keep your belt together while you're wearing it. So you'll have some instances where you're actually just wearing your belt after you stretched it to the maximum by sagging it and your belt will literally just fall off while you're wearing it. And you do not want your belt to do that because something will happen and I'm gonna speak on that something in the last parts of this video 
But I just want to say something serious will happen that you just do not want to let happen while you're wearing your BB Simon belt. Yeah, don't be out here sagging your BB Simon belts. At least not down to... I, I, I shouldn't even have to say it, man. Y'all know... Well, y'all know how 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 low your pants should be, man. You shouldn't be walking around fully cheeked up, you know, on a Sunday afternoon or Monday afternoon or any day in general. You just shouldn't be out here like that, man. It, 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 that's a crime out here where I'm from. Moving on to the fourth thing, and this actually ties back to the third thing. Do not wear your BB Simon belt too tight. Not only are you cutting off your circulation, and I know for a fact your stomach is cramping up at times, you shouldn't be cutting your circulation off by having your belt too tight around your waist. And also, the second reason is like I spoke on before, you will end up stretching your BB Simon belt's holes out by wearing the belt too tight because you're putting stress on that leather and that continuous stress will cause the belt to stretch and cause that hole to not be as tight as it was before. And next thing you know, your belt will be coming to loose when you least expect it. You don't want that. I don't want that, you don't want that, we don't want that, so just don't wear your belt too tight. This is where I wear my belt set. I wear my belts just like this to give it some room so that if I do happen to sag or if I do happen to sit down or something like that, then I still have some slack so that the rest of the belt can be filled out. You don't want your belt to be too tight where it's cutting your circulation off. It's a health thing and also it's just longevity of the belt. You want your belt to last longer. So don't do that. And now, The fifth and final thing that you should not do while wearing your BB Simon belt. Man, this one, this one right here brings back memories for me, man. Do not do this ever. Try, not even do not do this, because most of the time it's unintentional and it's something that's out of your control. But be careful, do not do this. The fifth and final thing that you should not do while wearing your BB Simon belt is drop your BB Simon belt. I speak on this at least once in every single video that I do. I've dropped a total of at least five BB Simon belts throughout my time of owning them. And not only have I dropped my BB Simon belts, but other people have also dropped my BB Simon belts. As a matter of fact, when I was just in Miami, my cousin actually dropped one of my BB Simon belts. If you didn't know, the crystals in your BB Simon belt are not permanently put in there. They can definitely come out. One of the most common ways that they do come out your BB Simon belt is by you dropping them. If you haven't watched my video that I will put the link down to in the description and also it'll pop up. If you haven't watched that video and you end up dropping your BB Simon belt, come back and find that video because you'll definitely need to repair that BB Simon belt. You'll have to put those crystals back into the buckle or back into the belt. And it's not super hard to do, but it is pretty tedious, but it definitely can be done. So that being said, it still won't have that same factory setting as it did before, because of course you can't get it back to how they originally put it in. That's just impossible, but hey, at least it'll still look better than the belt missing its crystals. That's the worst thing that you can do. So don't do it. Do not drop your BB Simon belt. That's all I can say. I know I said top five, but this is a bonus thing. That is, do not call your BB Simon belt a BB Simon belt. It is a BB Simon belt. Only refer to the belt as a BB belt or a BB Simon belt. And that's pretty much the video. We gonna go ahead and pop this giveaway off. So make sure you are tuned in and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Feels good to be back. I'm gonna keep getting y'all consistent content for these BB belts and if you have not gotten your hands on one yet, the goal is to have everyone in a BB belt by the end of 2024, and we're going to make that happen, man. That being said, it's been nice kicking it with y'all again. It's 2 o'clock where I'm at. I'm about to go ahead and get some rest. Yeah, that was a good one.
I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace out.